This is my version of a laser cut Cryptex. Uh, I put in nine rings with the letters A to Z all the way around, but they also have a space character and a hyphen character. So it's got 28 combinations, nine rings. I make that 10 and a half trillion different combinations. <clears throat> Each ring is ratcheted so that it falls into location as you rotate it. Um, the ratchet is also quite handy because then you can grab hold of several rings at once and you can turn just one individual ring. A lot easier for turning some of the middle rings. I've got this alignment key across two sides to show you when the word is in place. Uh, and I've chosen the word Tenetenba as in um, good morning. That's a nice Tenetenba. Once the code word is in place, you simply pull the drawer out the end and that gives you a nice secret compartment to store your things in. As you can see this side has the code locks down one edge and that fits into these slots within this ring. So I chose to have uh, code keys on both sides of here. Uh, so the end slots in there Everything's been laser cut. I found some nice wooden screw uh, knobs that fit on the end. My laser cut Cryptex features interchangeable code words so that you're not stuck with one fixed combination. Once you put your code word in and your combination is unlocked, that gives you access to the inside of the Cryptex. Now inside you've got these four uh, pillars, I guess, bars that lock each ring into place. To change the code word, you unclip these code rings and you can do that all the way down or you can just do it at the top here just to get this one on, one on the end off. So the code ring comes free like that and this way you can see the ratcheting mechanism in there. So that makes sure that the wheel only turns in one direction. And then once the wheel is off, it separates into these two separate bits. So this ring is only unlocked in this one position. There's a little marker there that shows me where it is. And from here you can see down these gaps there's nothing stopping that um, jaw from sliding out. Around the outside is this 28 toothed section uh, which allows me to refit this outer ring in any one of those 28 different positions. Once I've chosen the right letter, and we're going to turn this one back into a letter A, that ring is free to go. Simply fit it back onto there, latch the bars into place. This can be a bit tricky because the whole stack is now loose. And then I can slide the tray back in through there. Now it's the tray that stops these code bars from coming down and unlocking. So when this is locked, there is no way to get these rings out without breaking those internal bars. Once it's closed, simply scramble up the combination. And the drawer is locked.